Hi Pisces, Narai here, gonna do a reading for you guys. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. I appreciate you giving me some of your energy today, some of your precious time. So I'm gonna do a reading, I don't know where it's gonna go. Um, I have a clarifying deck here. I have my Lucid Dreams Beginner's Tarot here, my main deck. I have also the Life Purpose Oracle cards, which I will be pulling, and the Star Codes Astro. So um, let's go ahead and get started. Um, please take what fits and leave the rest. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you have Pisces in your chart, this is for you. Don't make it fit. There are going to be instances where a reading is not going to resonate because there are different energies and there's no way everybody can be going through the same thing and have the same energy every time. All right, Spirit. I'm going to need five cards to do this reading for Pisces. I'm going to need five cards to do this reading for Pisces, please, and thank you. Five cards to do this reading for Pisces, please and thank you. Two more shuffles. Mm -hmm. All right. Messages and guidance for Pisces. I need five cards to start, please. Messages and guidance for Pisces, please and thank you. Ooh. Wow, I got four cards. I pulled that upside down. So I have the three of pentacles in reverse, seven of swords, knight of wands, and seven of wands. Spirit, we need, we need one more card for the reading, Spirit. One more card, please, and thank you. So the first card is is the three of pentacles in reverse. This is people, this is not being in alignment. This is somebody not working with you. This is my cheating at work card, typically. Um, but this is a lack of teamwork. This is somebody, this is like you dealing or working with somebody and they're not contributing equally. They're not investing into the relationship or the project. This is poor work quality. This is also competition. I think it's a cheating at work card. And the reason being is because the next card is the seven of swords. This is somebody trying to get away with something. Let me actually clarify the three of pentacles in reverse, working alone. Yeah, you are the queen of cups. Do you see that? You were the queen of cups. You were giving all of yourself, and this person was not. We're putting that back in the deck here. Thank you, spirit. So this person was being dishonest and was trying to get away with things. More than likely, they were doing things behind your back. very sneaky and I feel like you know who this is because you felt like this person was sneaky Pisces or maybe you were the sneaky person I don't know um, but this person was in the Knight of Wands energy where they were very impulsive I feel like this was somebody that always had to be out always had to be out and about needed to be in everybody's face you'll know if it's you or your person excuse me Cross washers are welcome. And then I have the seven of wands, which is a person standing their ground and having to put up boundaries, de defending their territory. I feel like this is the energy that you had to be in. You had to get in this energy with this person because they were not respecting boundaries. It's like you would set boundaries and they would challenge them. And you had to be firm like, hey, this is my... 
this is my oh wow did that really just pop into my head this is my boundary so all of a sudden in my mind I'm gonna clarify the seven of wands because in my head just popped up I don't want to do that it was like you had a partner that wanted to invite other people into your relationship and you were like that's not something I do I don't want to go there one moment Whew. well no we need to shuffle this that is totally not respecting a boundary People don't seem to understand. People put up boundaries to protect themselves. The only time I think a, a person having boundaries is an issue is if they're nitpicking and just trying to stop everything, even things that don't need boundaries, or they want to have boundaries but don't want you to have any, which I've dealt with that before, and I'm sure most of you have. But this right here, this is just total disrespect. If a person doesn't believe in a certain lifestyle, don't force it on them. Mm. Clarifying the Seven of Wands. Oh, <laughs> I can't make this up. Did you guys see it pop up? See, it's right here. It's the Three of Pentacles. Did you hear me say this is my cheating at work card? Yeah, they were trying to invite somebody else into the bedroom. Oh my God! Spirit, stay out of my head! Ugh. I was not expecting that. I'm so sorry. That reaction was awful, I know. You'll get used to it. I'm a dramatic sometimes. Alright. So that happened. And this is a page of pentacles. This is a person loyal and faithful. This is you. This is how you are. And this person knew that. And they still did that. And they stepped out. And this person may actually reach out to you. I feel like you kept this person grounded and they messed that up. Oh. I left a card behind. The card I left behind was stability. They ruined the stability. I put it back in the deck. We'll see if it comes out. Messages and guidance. For Pisces. All right. What do we have for Pisces? Three cards, please. I'm hearing three. Three cards for Pisces. <laughs> you were the queen of cups and this person was the king of cups in reverse emotionally manipulative and abusive very selfish that's very obvious with what they were trying to do we're going to put that with the seven of wands but you're okay because you are, you had let this go. This situation had you in the Eight of Swords energy. And you've gotten away from that where you're out of your head. And you feel liberated because you set yourself free. You're moving towards success. You want to be successful. This is having determination and willpower. Moving forward. Because there is no need in waiting or feeling left behind. Messages and guidance for Pisces. Three cards, please, Spirit. Thank you. Yeah, I need three cards. If nothing comes out, we're done with these. This person's wanting to come in fast. And I feel like... I feel like they might be trying to manifest you too. I had this in my Capricorn reading. Past person was trying to manifest. 
But this person, the way they talk to you, no bueno. But this person is wanting to come towards you and you're just focused on healing. You're just focused on healing after this particular situation. I feel like this person wants to come in fast. I did see the 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 Knight of Pentacles. But they're going to come in slow. They're thinking about coming in fast. I don't I don't feel they have the courage. No, we're stopping with this. It's the Knight of Pentacles. Right now, you guys are focused on yourselves, working, staying grounded, and this person is going to take their time coming, if they even come at all. But yeah, you guys are working on finding balance with your emotions and being grounded, working on your boundaries, making sure to have much stronger boundaries. Knowing you're responsible for your happiness, finding harmony and continuing to heal because this particular situation with this person was just really shocking. I feel like you didn't even see it coming with the chariot card. And I know this is not the eight of wands, but for me, the chariot card and the eight of wands can be interchangeable when it comes to something happening. I feel like you just didn't even see this happening. But this person went to be with somebody else. After you told them you were not into having other people in your bedroom and they tried to cross your boundaries, they went ahead and did it anyway. They just wanted you to approve so that it wouldn't look so bad. So we're going to leave that there. Oh my God, look at that. Stability at the bottom of the deck. Because that's what you're working towards. Healing and finding your stability emotionally, physically, financially, all of it. So, we're going to pull um, the Life Purpose Oracle cards. Well, this was just messy, wasn't it? Let's get these out of the way. Spirit, I need three cards, please. Shuffling two times. No, shuffling three times. Okay. What do we have for Pisces? Please and thank you. Messages for Pisces. I need three cards. Two more shuffle. Uh, no, one more shuffle. Pulling cards for Pisces. Please and thank you. I need three cards for Pisces. One. Two. Three. Oh. Okay. Thanks. So I pulled the pull the builder card. This is your innate ability to build and create things. Excuse me. Your innate ability to build and create brings you a deep sense of accomplishment. Builder. Maybe some of you are handy with your hands. Teaching. You inspire young people to learn. These are for someone. In writing, you heal, inspire, teach, and entertain with the words you write. Words are spells, people. Words are spells. I love that one. All right, so we're going to pull the Star Codes Astro Oracle. Spirit, I need seven cards. For Pisces, please and thank you. I'm going to need seven cards for Spice. For Spices, for Pisces. Some of y'all are Spices, Pisces, huh? Seven cards, two more shuffles for Pisces. One, two, three, four. Five, six, 
seven. Thank you. Passion. That's beautiful too. See, I'm gonna I'm gonna show this card because the other card was talking about building. This is talking about passion. You guys have, some of you have creativity within you. Use it to heal and to make money. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Excuse me. The passion, make money. Use it to heal and to make money. You can use it as a source of income. So second house is resources. This is letting you know that the things that you do now can become abundant later. It's like planting the seeds and doing the work. Reaping your harvest. Opposition, confrontation. I feel like this is a warning. I'm actually going to pull the pull the book for this one. 53 5 3 is 8. So There's something and you have to decide if this is the path you want to take and if it's worth the struggle cuz it may be difficult. It says if it is, grow those skills, hold your ground, and fight for what you believe in. You are being asked to prove to yourself and others that you have the skills needed for the next step. This situation is an inconvenient growth opportunity, but not a punishment. Decide if it is time to build muscles or to find another path. That's for someone. Exploration. Speaking of the path, there may be other things you guys want to explore in regards of income and, and aspects of your life. Like you may want to be open to new things, going to places you've never been, learning something you didn't know about that has piqued your interest. Nurture. Gosh, nurture and community has come out a lot. Nurture. Be sure to nurture yourself. Understand that what is nurtured grows. If you neglect something, it doesn't grow. The same thing happens with the relationship. If one person in a relationship is neglected, that relationship cannot survive. It dies. It, it, it shrivels up and dies. So if you're being nurturing to someone and you're in a relationship, especially romantic, make sure you're taking care of yourself, number one, and that you're nurturing. Be sure they're nurturing you as well, because if not, use that blade and cut them off. And remember, people treat us how we allow. If we allow somebody to stay in our life, our lives Pisces if you allow somebody to stay in your life that is not treating you well the only way they can continue to not treat you well is if you allowed them to keep staying in your life so that's when you have to cut ties community some of you may need a sense of community and I'm actually feeling that if you pursue something that you have passion within you in regards to, you can find a whole new community. It's like finding your own tribe. Solar flares activate. I do feel like there's some sort of passion within you that needs to be activated. And you can take this pain that you have received and are feeling or frustration that you are feeling and turn that into something positive and use something as an outlet. It's all a matter of perspective. I don't know why my screen gets dark like that. Yeah. 
Some of you may have Libra in your chart or the person we're talking about may have been a Libra, but this is in regards to balance. Like the temperance card, you guys need to focus on finding balance. Finding balance. And this could mean in a relationship making sure there's balance. You're giving and they're giving. Not you're giving and they're giving. Because that means you're doing all the giving. Or that would put you up here. Because you're empty and they're full. It's a matter of perspective. But Pisces, that is what I have for you. So thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Love you. Bye.